Hello everyone, welcome to Reactify Labs. Today we will talk about another algorithm similar to the leaky bucket algorithm and it is called token bucket algorithm. Token bucket. So this is also used or applied in the same way as leaky bucket. So I am not going to talk about it uh, again, just like the YouTube example which I gave uh, for leaky bucket. So you can go and watch that video. Here I'll just start directly with the formal definition and technical technicalities of the algorithm. So token bucket algorithm is a dynamic rate limiting mechanism. It's a dynamic rate limiting mechanism employed in networking to regulate the flow of data. employed in networking to regulate the flow of data. It operates on the concept of tokens. It operates on the concept of tokens granting access to resources based on their availability granting access to resources based on their availability okay so it is also crucial for controlling data transmission rates the token bucket algorithm ensures fairness, prevents congestion and optimizes resource utilization. So let's talk about what are the core components of this algorithm. So the core components are first one is token generation. We need to generate a token. So tokens are generated at a fixed rate representing the allowance of data transmission means the rate at which token is generated is the rate at which data transmission is allowed. If to token generations are fast, it means faster data transfer is allowed, right? Similarly for slower. Next is token bucket. So there will be a bucket which will hold the tokens. It's a metaphorical bucket which holds tokens and entities can transmit data as long as tokens are available. If token is available in bucket, only then the data can be transmitted. And there will be one more component called token consumption. So each data transmission consumes a token and the rate of token consumption determines the effective data transmission rate, right? Okay, now let's talk about token bucket operation. Operation. First one is token availability. So transmission is allowed when tokens are available in bucket, right? Next is rate limiting. The fixed rate of token generation enforces a maximum data transmission rate. And next is dynamic adjustment. So token bucket dynamically adapts to varying data transmission needs. So depending on the needs, the token bucket is adjusted. So if I have to explain how token bucket works or what is the difference between leaky bucket and token bucket as this might be a doubt. So let's see there is a bucket. You all know what leaky bucket is right. If you don't know please go and watch the previous video before this and that will clarify everything about um, this leaky bucket. So there is a token, uh, token bucket. So these are the tokens which will keep coming here okay and the tokens will be here and the tokens will keep coming from here so what happens is earlier what used to happen was the data would come from here and depending on what the size of the uh, leak was the data transmission rate was determined by that but what was the drawback there the drawback was 
what if I wanted to send more data? What if, let's say, my video is of a high quality? Uh, what is that? 1080 or 2160. Next is 4320. What if my video is of this quality? I won't be able to send this. Uh, like today, my app is able to support 720p. But tomorrow, it's possible that I am supporting this. But if my algorithm is still leaky bucket, I won't be able to send this amount of data to our, our video because uh, this uh, size of the leak is constant, right? So for that, token bucket is helpful. In this case, what happens is the incoming data comes in this manner. So incoming data is coming from here. Okay. And when incoming data has to pass, what it will do is it will take a token and do a token check. And once the token check is passed, only then it will go. It will be allowed to go. Outgoing data, right? So now let's say I have to send more data. For example, instead of 720p, I need to send a video of 4320p. In that case, what happens is it will take more tokens. And if more tokens are available in the bucket, it might take more tokens. And if those many tokens are available, it means 4320p is also available to pass through. So depending on this, even if let's say we have a 360p video, that will also pass and that will consume less tokens as compared to 4320p. So this is the use case. This is where uh, token bucket algorithm is beneficial over leaky bucket algorithm because of the dynamic nature of the bucket or the algorithm. Okay. So I hope this is clear why we need token bucket when we already had the leaky bucket. Okay, now let's uh, talk about a few more things which are left in this. So now that we have talked about these many things, let's talk about the advantages and limitations. So the advantages of this algorithm is fairness. So it ensures fair resource allocation based on available tokens and congestion prevention. congestion prevention right uh, one more is dynamic rate dynamic rate limiting okay okay now let's talk about the limitations bursty traffic handling Bursty traffic handling may face challenges in scenarios with bursty traffic patterns okay and complex implementation because it's dynamic and if it's dynamic it will obviously be more complex complex implementation so implementing token bucket may be more complex than simpler rate limiting mechanisms okay now let's talk about some of the use cases of the token bucket algorithm use cases i will just make it like this oh, okay so one is traffic shaping so token bucket serves as a linchpin in traffic shaping across various networking environments internet service providers often implement token bucket to control the bandwidth allocated to the users this ensures a fair and regulated distribution of network resources and thus preventing any single user from monopolizing bandwidth and impacting the experience of others. Second is network congestion control. Network congestion control. The aviation industry provides an intriguing application of token bucket for network congestion control. Air traffic management systems use token bucket to regulate the flow of data between aircraft and ground control. By controlling the rate of communication, token bucket prevents data congestion in the air traffic control network, ensuring timely and secure exchanges of critical information. So it obviously it receives the air traffic controller, the ground control receives a lot of data from the uh, airplane, but it does not prioritize everything, right? It only prioritizes the important data and thus um, helps in uh, effectively utilizing the resources. Next is VOIP. 
वॉइस ओवर आई पी सो इन वॉइस ओवर आई पी सिस्टम्स टोकन बकेट फाइंड एप्लीकेशन इन इंश्योरिंग अ कंसिस्टेंट क्वालिटी ऑफ सर्विस बाई कंट्रोलिंग द रेट ऑफ वॉइस डेटा ट्रांसमिशन द टोकन बकेट प्रोवाइड्स और प्रिवेंट्स सडन बर्स्ट ऑफ डेटा दैट कुड रिजल्ट इन पैकेट लॉस देयर बाय मेंटेनिंग द क्लैरिटी एंड रिलायबिलिटी ऑफ वॉइस कम्युनिकेशन दैट्स वाई इफ यू नोटिस वी ओ आई पी कम्युनिकेशन इज बेटर दैन दोज नॉर्मल इंटरनेट कॉल्स ओके नेक्स्ट इज क्लाउड कंप्यूटिंग प्लेटफॉर्म्स क्लाउड कंप्यूटिंग प्लेटफॉर्म्स सो क्लाउड सर्विस प्रोवाइडर्स डिप्लॉय टोकन बकेट टू मैनेज द यूसेज ऑफ कंप्यूटिंग रिसोर्सेज बाई डिफरेंट टेनेंट्स बाय एनफोर्सिंग रेट लिमिट्स टोकन बकेट इंश्योर्स फेयर रिसोर्स एलोकेशन अमॉन्ग यूजर्स प्रिवेंटिंग एनी सिंगल टेनेंट फ्रॉम ओवर यूटिलाइजिंग शेयर रिसोर्सेज एंड एफेक्टिंग परफॉर्मेंस ऑफ अदर्स ओके नाउ दैट वी हैव टॉक्ट अबाउट यूज केसेस एज वेल वट एल्स इज रिमेनिंग लेट मी चेक ओके सो If we talk about again implementation in networking, implementation in networking. So, network devices, network devices. Token bucket is a cornerstone in the implementation of bandwidth management systems in network devices such as routers and switches. For instance, in a corporate network, token bucket can be employed to control the rate at which individual devices or departments can access the internet. This ensures that critical applications receive the necessary bandwidth while preventing non-essential activities from causing congestion. Okay? Next comes QoS in online gaming. by online gaming sorry online gaming platforms leverage token bucket within their qos strategies by assigning tokens based on the priority of gaming data token bucket ensures that players with higher priority for example premium subscribers receive a smoother and more responsive gaming experience while others may experience a controlled rate of data transmission next is video streaming services video streaming services video streaming platforms integrate token bucket to manage the delivery of content to users by controlling the rate of video data transmission token bucket helps streaming services optimize bandwidth usage preventing sudden spikes in data flow that could result in buffering or degraded video quality okay now that we have talked everything about the um, token bucket algorithm let's talk about the difference between token bucket and leaky bucket i know i have explained it but let's um, do the formal way so leaky versus token bucket first one is mechanism wise so in leaky bucket algorithm data is imagined as water pouring into a leaky bucket at a constant rate the bucket has a fixed capacity and excess water spills out representing excess data being discarded or marked for special handling whereas token bucket operates by generating tokens at a fixed rate these tokens represent the allowance for data transmission entities can transmit data as long as tokens are available in the bucket each data transmission consumes a token okay next the token generation way so leaky bucket does not involve a token generation mechanism it focuses on allowing or discarding data based on its continuous arrival rate token bucket generates a token at a fixed rate representing the rate as which at which entities are allowed to transmit data next token consumption token consumption in leaky bucket data is continuously leaked or allowed at a fixed rate without the concept of tokens being explicitly generated or consumed token bucket involves explicit token consumption where each data transmission consumes a token 
the rate of token consumption determines the effective data transmission rate and next let's talk about rate limiting Leaky bucket provides a simple and constant rate of data leakage, allowing for a uniform flow of data. Token bucket enables dynamic rate limiting. The rate at which tokens are generated determines the maximum rate of data transmission. The bucket adapts to varying data transmission needs. Okay, now let's end this with some real life examples. Hmm. Real life examples. Of both these so for leaky bucket a classic example of leaky bucket is in network traffic policing when the incoming traffic rate exceeds a certain limit excess packets are discarded or marked for special handling preventing network congestion token bucket is extensively used in scenarios requiring dynamic rate limiting in VOIP systems tokens can represent voice packets and the bucket controls the rate at which these packets are transmitted ensuring a steady and controlled flow of voice data Adaptability Leaky bucket has a fixed rate of data leakage, offering simplicity but lacking the adaptability to varying traffic patterns. Okay, sorry, I'll note it down. Adaptability. So, leaky bucket has a fixed rate of data leakage, offering simplicity but lacking the adaptability to varying traffic patterns. Token bucket excels in adaptability. The dynamic adjustment of token generation parameters allows it to respond to changing data transmission needs making it suitable for diverse networking scenarios. So this was all about a token bucket and the difference it has with a leaky bucket. So I hope this uh, video clears everything about token bucket algorithm and how it is different from leaky bucket and what were the limitations of the leaky bucket which are uh, addressed by token bucket algorithm. So yeah, that's all for this video. Thank you for watching. Please remember to like, share and subscribe. I will see you in the next one.